Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we are starting off our chapter 3. And our focus for today is basically on the best key financial setup that we need to have as far as working with Excel is concerned for finance and accounting professionals. Today we are going to focus on the objectives of those of setting those financial of having those basic financial setups so this is chapter three as i've said and this is video number one of chapter three so in this chapter on basic financial setups we want to discuss the importance of clean, clear formatting. In fact, layouts and structures are absolutely critical in financial modeling and analysis. Now, obviously with financial analysis and modeling, you need to get the numbers right but one thing which often gets overlooked is the importance of clean formatting remember that we are doing financial analysis in excel because there is a person or a group of people trying to use it as a tool to make an important financial decision if you are if your financial model or analysis has a really well thought out and clean formatting it's going to instill so much confidence in those decision makers and it will end up getting a lot of a lot of attraction and get used all the way through the decision making process so what are some of the importance the important attributes that we are going to be demonstrating and looking for in this course or in this chapter the model needs to be very easy to follow easy to understand and it needs to be accurate and detailed in fact the right level of detail is often something that people struggle with we want the model over to be very very simple but we need to add in details in certain places where it's absolutely needed beyond that we absolutely need the model to be dynamic when we make changes for example maybe when we make change changes in one area we need we need those changes to follow all the way through to the other parts of the model the model also needs to be easy to edit we want to be able to quickly jump into the model make changes and then close it and then close it out and save it finally it's important for the model to be easy to audit this is this is because we are going to have other people who are going to be using these models so others can actually trace throughout and understand our thought process and the flow from the inputs all the way through to the outputs in other words 
what we are basically looking at, we are looking at what we need to set or what we need to have as far as looking at setting up the financial model. These are the things that we are going to specifically look at in this chapter to be able to understand some of the key things that will make our models very easy to follow, be understood by everyone, and they are accurate at the same time they are detailed where necessary. So we have also to make sure that at least we can come back and audit if we make changes. The system is dynamic, but at the same time it can be audited and it can be you can trace where maybe an error has been and all that because it's going to be used throughout the decision making process. So with all that, that's what we are aiming at achieving as far as looking at chapter two or the objective of the of this chapter. So thank you for watching. Let's meet in the next video when you are going to where we are going to be taking a tour into our template. In other words, for these models, we always start with the, a template. We form templates. These templates, they are the ones that are giving us the inputs that we are going to use when doing our financial analysis. So let's meet in the next video where we are going to be talking about or where we are going to be taking a look at the Excel template that we are going to use in our course. With This is where we are going to start to be a little bit very, very, very practical because we are going to start looking at things, doing some calculations and all that. We are going to go systematic, so I request that you follow the right order. We are naming this every chapter. We start with video one, and it will be having 00, one hashtag 001 002 to whichever video that ends that chapter then the next chapter will also be in this in that same manner so it is better you actually follow this because if you are to look at that final that uh, template as we shall see you will need to actually understand the first things before you look at it the final outcome of the of our financial model so thank you